Hey guys, how are you? Um, I am doing a quick little live right here in my kitchen instead of doing it in the front room. Um, Finney fell asleep right behind me in the front room. So I, I should say right behind me. I normally film him on my desk. At my desk, Finney is right there in the, um, right by side there in the jogging stroller, sweetly asleep. She fell asleep when I was on a run with her on the trails just a little bit ago. So let me just figure out this lighting right here. Hi, Andrea, how are you? So good to see you. I am by the window right here and it's a great spot to go because, let's see, that should work out just fine. Ah, uh, there we go. Anyways, hey, Kelly, how are you doing? So, um, I, you know what? I, this is really fun for right now, what I'm gonna talk about because it's something that I just did myself and right now, um, I, I want to share with you, it came up and resonated again and again and again at the Inspirator Retreat. And it is something, so many different aspects that we forget about and we just live life and we keep doing, but we don't jump into the bigger, bigger goals that we should. And so for those of you, um, popping on, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up or a high five. So I know that you're on here right now and Andrea, know you're on here. Kelly, know that you're on here, which I love. Um, Heather, I believe you're here too. So just give me a thumbs up and high five so I know that you're excited. I love seeing us to who is on the Facebook Lives. And as you are watching, do me a favor and share this with your friends. I bet you that they will find something in this that is pertinent to them that will empower them up. And they'll inspire them to do something new, um, especially as we look towards the end of this year. So Erin Kretschari, personal trainer, empowerment coach. And I am back as of tomorrow. It will have been a week post um, my Inspire Retreat in Hawaii. And the Inspire Retreat in Hawaii was my sixth retreat in two years that I've led. And this one for me was a really big one that I wanted to pack full of so much F word, fun, fun. So many will forget to have fun. And what's interesting is that came up again and again and again. And it is something that as you adult and as you grow, you think, okay, I need to adult and I need to, you know, get X, Y, and Z done. But we forget to have fun and fun is so important. As you know from being friends with me, being a client, being a family member, I like to have a lot of fun and life is too short not to have fun. So that is one of the big F words that we're going to talk about and it came up again and again and again. Another one is fearlessness and being fearless because often as we adults, again, what happens? We pull back and we're not as fearless as we used to be. And fearlessness is what really gets you. Hey, Kim, how are you? Um, fearlessness is what really gets you to jump into some of those big dreams that you have. So that's another F that we're going to talk about. And um, the third one we're talking about is fitness. Mm -hmm. The big F right there. And the fourth one is family. Put those four together. You've got an F show going on. And it's not that naughty F show. Don't get your mind in the gutter. All of that adds to lots of happiness too. But... Um, but anyhow, so just try to make a giggle for you guys on this wonderful Tuesday. So I've got two kids home right now. Finley is um, asleep in the front. Emerson has been home all day, not feeling so well. And I'm awaiting, hello, Melissa. And I'm awaiting actually McKenzie to pop through the front door as we have her ortho appointment with her, her, her new ortho here in town um, as Jack is away for work. So let's get on this. One, fun. How to add more fun to every single thing that you do. What do you guys do to add more fun? Hello, Melissa. And Melissa's on it right now, which is so fun because she did something the other day to add more fun that I just did the other night. Hey, Yvonne. That I just did the other night, which was to go watch a fun movie and just laugh. Go see Bad Moms. It will make you laugh so hard, especially in the last five minutes, honestly. will make you laugh so hard that you might pee your pants. I mean, seriously, it's so funny in a, in a way that it has no, it's brain numbing. There's nothing um, not really redeemable with the movie except for just fun. It is so much fun and you will laugh and people forget to laugh. So that is one right there though. Melissa went with some girlfriends. Um, one of them is my client and they were sharing some pictures on Facebook and I'm so happy to see them go out and go have a fun time laughing. So that is one right there. Um, but to have more fun in your fitness though, let's go with that. More fun in fitness. Make a new playlist. If you're feeling kind of bored, have you changed up your music, you guys? Make a new playlist. That was so much fun. You know what, exactly, Melissa, is so much fun. Um, but make a new playlist. And when you make a new playlist, it makes a big, big difference. It pumps you up, gets you excited. That's one way. Another way is grab a friend with you to go for a run. Grab a friend with you to go for a workout and go work out with them at the retreat. What was so cool is that the ladies, there was a group of them that decided, they kept adding in more. Who wants to join? Who wants to join to go do trail runs together in the Bay Area? 
that was awesome. One, it's gonna get them outside, it's gonna get them running together. Hey, Kayla! It's gonna get them, you know, laughing as they're running. So that adds some more fun into fitness. Uh, another fun one, though, is to, um, this is one of my favorites, which I was just doing with Finley, and which is why she's asleep right now, is out on the trails, I run up and I do sprints up and we speed back down. Hey, Tammy, how are you doing? And she puts her arms up like a roller coaster and she screams, wee, as we go all the way down. Now, of course, I have my wrist strap on with the jogging trail because I have worried about, you know, possibly go going too far back. But, um, oh, Emerson, let me open up the door for your sister. Sorry, multitasking mom right now. But, um, oh, Gailey, yes, 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 we're catching that. It's so good to see you on here. Um, I was thinking about you at the retreat. And so we just did a fun six miles before Jack had to catch the Uber for work. And I booked it back. I actually went a little bit too fast. I both went a little bit, but it's totally fine. Just jogged it out. And it was so much fun. Part of it, though, is because Tuesdays are sprint days um, in the intermittent fasting program, which I love so much. And I'm really gaining hate cans of cans um, to learn more and more about um, to help my own clients. And that in itself, just a minute, kiddo, go play with your slime and go brush your hair, okay? Hey, We're going to leave the house. Okay, I'll give you some more Advil in just a minute. But go play with your slime and go brush your hair. So, motherhood never stops, especially when we're adding in joy and love and fun for these guys. Slime, as much slime as possible. My house was covered in slime on uh, Saturday night. Um, but they had a double sleepover. That's more fun right there. Both of them got to have sister sleepover. House was crazy. They stayed up forever, had the best time. And Jack got them food that I would never buy, and it was awesome, and they had fun. So for running, though, back to running, it is one of Finney's and my favorite thing. As we're going out to the trails, you know what she said? She goes, Mama, are we going to go that way? Let's go that way. I like that one so much better. It's faster. I'm like, okay, is it faster because we're running? Is it faster because it's bigger hills? It's the bigger hills. So that's something you can think about, guys. Just go running up to run right back down. You have a good day at school? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Are you ready for the ortho? Are you ready for the ortho? Yeah, I just need to eat some food okay. because I didn't bring my food okay. ready, so I couldn't buy lunch. Oh, Kenzie, okay. You can make so much. I'm going to finish this video. Say hi to everybody right here on the camera. Hola. And um, have your apple and... Okay, so... Um, do you guys love... We don't multitask in our house. It's when you do two things at once. So I'm filming this live, juggling these guys. It's multitasking. Multitasking and fantastic. It's a word that Emerson came up with that we love. Can't do more than that, except for saying no slime in my face, please. I'm sick of the slime. I swear I can be done with slime. Uh, but especially glitter slime. But yeah, that's way to add more fun and fitness. Sorry, I'm, di I'm digressing, guys. For fun and to work, what do you do for work? Do you even like your surroundings and work? Do you like your environment? Do you like the colors? Can you paint the office? Can you add pictures of beautiful places to your work? In front of my desk, it is set up with a beautiful painting that Mackenzie made that's of Hawaii, a picture of the girls, this is one of my favorites from last year, a, a saying, which if you're on my email newsletter list, if you're not, add in your name down below or message me for it, that says live what you love, and um, a Ramos painting. And those are right there as well as another picture of Hawaii. Why? Because it makes me feel fun. And my desk area is my office in our house, as well as, you know, everywhere outside the house. But for you guys, I want you to think, how does, your, how does your work feel? Do you have fun at work? Is everyone so serious? If they are, make a point to create an afternoon run club. Make a point to organize some night out. Make a point to create, if you own your own business, make a point to have so much fun. Hello. Oh, the person behind me to close the door? Well, I will try to. Um, hey, Kelly, how are you doing? And so... So anyhow, for the the fun part, um, I oops, watch the weather, kiddo. Um, I, with your work, is I want you to think about how are you with the work side of it. How how do you feel when you get to your office? How do you feel energetically when you're there? How does your day go? Do you go and go? Ah, oh, it's work again. Ah, oh, it's fine. Ah, oh, um. Ah, you know, like, how are you when you are at work? Are you thinking you're just counting down the hours till the day is done? Or are you thinking, oh my gosh, this work is the most amazing possible? I personally love the fact that I love what I do so very much. That I want to continuously bowl up and it's challenging some days. However, it's a lot of fun because I get to see these transformations happen all the time. All the time. So, so exciting. 
Um, and for that part, I want you guys to please, 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 uh, oh, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, but, but yeah, so I want, um, you guys to think about like, how can you add more fun into your work? It even could be, honestly, like this sounds silly, but if you work in an office place and people are so drab, throw a paper airplane, get something silly like that done. It will make somebody laugh and laughter is what is needed, especially right now when people are so serious. So let's talk about family, fun and family. This next week, hello, Dina. This next week is Thanksgiving. Next week, guys, next week is Thanksgiving. And for many people, Thanksgiving could to be, guys, give me a thumbs up on this or heart on this. For that, it can be stressful. I personally love the holidays, and people laugh at that. Hey, Carmen, I miss you. Um, but I laugh at that because I love the holidays so much. I seriously, this time of year for me is exciting because it's the end of the year. It's when people can go up. It is when people can... Um, get excited about what they've accomplished. It is when they can get excited about the new year ahead. My birthday is next month. Finley's birthday is at the end of the year. Like, I just, I love it. my nephew's birthday, my father in law, my brother in law. Like, I love this year. I love family coming together. I love all their friends coming together. All of it. I love that there's downtime. I love that there's time for just people being out and about, right? I love, like, just all of it. I love every ounce of it. So for you guys, is it stressful or is it not? If it's not, um, that's awesome. If it is, how can you add more fun into the holidays with your family? So think about it. If there's a Thanksgiving run, sign up for a Thanksgiving run together. If not, go to the park and just grab a football and go play football. If not, go for a walk. Go for a hike up in the hills. Um, everyone creates some brand new dish on Thanksgiving. And, you know, enjoy. Just pick up one from, um, from Pinterest. and like, I'm going to try this out and see what it is. Who knows, right? Or um, do a blind bottle wine tasting. We do that every year at my family for Thanksgiving. Everyone to bring a bottle of wine and they put a brown bag on top of it and then we vote. And our kids go around and they say, what do you think that that is tasted like? Is that a one through a five? And then the bottle at the end wins. And what's kind of funny is Jack's cousin, he's had the winning bottle and got taken away last year and he's determined to win it back this year. But it adds fun, it adds so much fun to the holidays and a determination for who's gonna, who's gonna get the, you know, the award this year. Tammy, it is fun. It's so much fun. And we do it at the beach. And it just creates a nice, fun kickoff to Thanksgiving, right? Because that's how we start the appetizers and everything. Um, but yeah, think about that. Think about also doing the, the starting the day with a turkey trot, like I said, or anything like that. But with your family, over the next few weeks, map out some adventure days for you guys to do as well. Adventure days that are not connected to anything they feel like they have to do. In other words, like, um, you're going to go to the lighting festival at the mission. See, exactly. The lighting of the Christmas trees are always fun. Walk down there, get all bundled up. Gosh, up here in Boise, I get to get more bundled up than ever, my goodness. But um, that's another story. But, you know, get all bundled up and go on down to the tree lightings or anything like that. Last year for the holidays, we added in, I was telling somebody about this. For those of you in the Bay Area, this was so much fun. We met up with my brother and my nephew. And we went to the, the drag queen ice skating show at Union Square. And we had the best time. We all met for dinner before. We, you know, you sit around the ice rink as these drag queens are ice skating. And they, their costumes were beautiful and wonderful. We had to skate with all these amazing performers afterwards. And it was so much fun. My nephew had fun. My brother had fun. Jack had fun. I had fun. The girls all had fun. And it was a great weekday oh, night. And so, well, what are you, no, you may not, not right now. No, no, not right now. You can in just a minute. In just a minute, okay? Oh, no, because they had these, like, um... What are you going to say? Oh, no, like those things you could sit on so you could sit down on the ice while they were... Oh, like, okay. I thought you were going to say, like, that one that... Because our skating ability wasn't so great. That's the one thing for some of them. So that's all. But it was so much fun. We didn't care. We had the best time. Yes, they had cushions for you to sit down on the ice. So if you're in San Francisco area in the greater area, go to that show. It was midweek. Super, so super fun. fun. Um, so that's some fun family stuff. And fun and being. This is what came up at the retreat. And this is what uh, actually a whole part of why I created the Fit Mind Academy. And which I'm going to share with you guys about in just a second here. Is the fact that fun and being. People often forget to just have fun being by themselves. It sounds weird, but they forget to have fun in their fitness and their fearlessness and going up and spending time with their family and um, and their faith. They forget to have fun in the everyday. And that's something that I want you to think about. Like, how do you have fun and how what brings you joy every day? And are you doing it? If you're not doing it, find three ways to do so by the end of the week. So if you're not doing it, what are three ways that you can do to have more fun and just being you right now. 
what could they be? Um, you know, I, to be honest, I'm always in my workout clothes, right? So it was fun to put a dress on for me. That makes me feel better. I was like, oh, I'm going to put a sweater dress on. Oh, feels better. Feels fancy. I'm just going to feel orthodontist. But for me, because I'm always in my workout clothes because that is my work attire in addition to I'm always training. That is, it's fun. It feels good, right? It's like good energy, good mojo. So for you guys, think about that for yourself. What are some ways just being? Is it sitting down reading a book? Is it having a cup of coffee? Is it... You know, one thing for myself, I love Hawaii so much as you guys know, my coffee is always, um, I always love Kona coffee and that's a special treat in the afternoons. And things like that help me just be and it helps with my mindset and relaxes and gives me so much joy. So for you guys, I want you to think about that component. So with all of those Fs, we've got family, we've got fitness, we've got fearlessness. I know, oh, I didn't tap into fearlessness right then. Um, and faith and... Um, and fun is the one category that needs to be infused throughout all of them, okay? So fearless. How are you being fearless right now? And how does fearlessness translate into you having more fun and enjoying life? That's something that I want you to think about. I'm going to tap into it deeper tomorrow. So catch me tomorrow. I'll be doing the Facebook Live about the same time. And I want you to think about how are you adding in more fearlessness to goal up and um, and I got some fun munching action going on. I'm like, what is going on back there? Some tortilla chips and some apples. Some nice little snack right there with some um, peanut butter on the apples. There we go. But anyhow, I um, I want you to think about that though with your own fearlessness. How are you digging that fearlessness to really get you going? Fearless and fun. Just done it for a 10K in March. Awesome. Perfect, Kelly. That's great. That is fantastic. That is a great goal to have because a few months down the road, you talked about that. And I believe you're doing that with some people from um, the kids' school, correct? Hopefully so. So if you guys, please, again, share this with your friends, share this with your family. This will probably get them thinking outside their comfort zone. It will get them thinking, how can I infuse more fun? And if they have any questions, please feel free to have them contact me. Um, my link will be down below in just a minute to tap onto the website, add your names and email list. But I also want to have you think about the Fit Mind Academy. The Fit Mind Academy launches at the end of this month and it is for six months. And why is it six months? Because the fact that shifting this mindset, it takes a while. The old tapes that are inside, they take a long time to reshift, as well as learning how to be empowered up and to goal up and to really jump into living fearless, fit, inspired, empowered all the time. Every month has got a different specialist. In addition to myself, that does a workshop for the women in the, in the Fit Mind Academy. There is a retreat just for the women in the Fit Mind Academy, just for them here in Boise, and that's at the end of spring. I'm really excited about that. The Fit Mind Academy has got focus on nutrition, has got focus on um, fitness, has got one-on-one -on -one coaching, has got dedicated soul sister support, has um, loaded up with motivational empowerment workbooks that are specific for the goals that will get you from point A, not just to B, but all the way to Z. Why? Because the fact that when you are eager to, or you're a good sign of, um, I shouldn't say eager to, when you are ready to take a break, you've got people behind that want to push you up. And so, hi, Shelly, how are you doing? Um, and so, I know, right? Good job, Kelly. And when that happens, you're not allowed to fall back. You're encouraged because I'm not a one and done type trainer and I'm not a one and done type coach. For those of you that know, Kelly's on here, Dana's on here. Um, Tammy's, Tammy's been at my boot camps at this fitness conference that I used to teach at every year. And I want you guys to succeed. I don't want you to fall back. I really don't. I want you to live your most empowered, inspired, and inspired life possible. So that beautiful note, you are your inspirator and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.